welcome you all to our youtube channel the fortunates today we will tell you how you can be a part of iit madras even without gate with this let's get started with the ms and phd admission in iit madras so before we go in more details let's understand what is ms ms is a master in science degree which takes around 2 to 2 and a half years so this ms degree is divided into two the htra1 and the without htra1 so htra stands for half time research assistantship where you will get a scholarship of around 12400 and on the other side this non htra means you will not get any scholarship now what is the qualification that is required for both the cases so if you need an htra you should be btech qualified along with the gate qualification on the other side if you don't have you are not interested to or you are not eligible for the scholarship even then if you have a btech degree you can be a part of ms degree and the second thing is like for the case of htr there is one more option that is if you are a btech student from iit and you have a cgp around 8 or more than 8 even without gate you are eligible for the htra that is the ms with the scholarship now even if you are a non htr student but you are interested to be a part of htra one day even then let's say like you are going to join the iit madras in july then in ju in the next year 2021 gate qualify the gate submit your documents in the department and you become eligible for the scholarship so even without the right now you are not get qualified join the iit madras prepare again for the gate and then 2021 qualify the gate and you are eligible for the scholarship now before going more details uh, to the phd let's uh, please subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon button and if you have any queries any doubt please mention it in the comment box now talking about the phd so phd is a 5 years degree where you will be like the this phd is divided into two the direct phd and the regular phd so what we understand the difference so direct phd means after btech you can directly apply for the phd on the other hand the regular phd is like you have to do the btech you have to do the mtech or ms and then you apply for the phd so that's the first difference between these two and second is the course work iit madras generally mention like for the case of regular phd you will have to do four to five courses on the other side if you do if you are doing the direct phd you have to finish six to eight courses during the first year of your phd after then direct phd and regular phd guys are equal but there is one good thing about direct phd is that you will get two degrees at the end of your phd one is the ms one is the phd now let's say in between after two or two and a half years if you are not interested to continue your phd you can terminate it also and at the time of termination you will be eligible for the ms degree so it's a win win situation either go for the phd or direct phd direct phd is a better option if you are a btech student and you will you will have an option that you can leave the phd in between with a with some degree now this phd is also divided into two like i mentioned before in the ms also whether you are eligible for the scholarship or not eligible for the scholarship it depends only whether you are get qualified or you are not get qualified so in the same way phd is iit madras also gives the same option in the case of phd also where you will be you can apply for the htra and you can also apply for the non htra and in the case of like talking about a scholarship so initial 2 years you will get around 31000 and after second year it will convert to 35000 for next 3 years and in this in this case also like ms we can convert our non htra to htra after you qualify the gate the same situation is here join the iit madras give the exam next year and qualify it and you are eligible for the scholarship from the same day the day you will submit your documents now after having like now you understand what is ms what is what is direct phd what is phd what is the difference between htra and non htra and how you can convert your non scholarship or non htra degree to a scholarship or htra degree now coming to the next thing is the selection procedure in the selection procedure they uh, the screening process is like this 
initially you will apply for the interview apply for the ms phd option they will shortly shortlist you on the basis of your educational qualification and the gate score after then they will call you for the written test and this written test have the same syllabus as of the gate okay and this written test is almost of one year oh sorry it's of almost one hour after then you will go for the interview in the interview there will be a professor panel in from your particular department and they will ask you about some specific subject like in which you are interested and the subject will be around three to four you have to write down on a paper that these are the subjects i am good in and they will ask you the questions regarding the those subjects only once you qualify the interview welcome to iit madras and please be careful all this all these rounds are knocked knockout round so once you disqualify from here you can't give the written test the same way downwards now where you have to apply where you have to apply for the ms or phd so there is a link i have also mentioned in the description box go to the link apply for the ms or phd degree and please do it fast because the last date is 31st of march 2020 so please make it as soon as possible with this thank you for watching see you soon in the next video till then goodbye and take care